M4A1S versus M4A4. The M4A1S costs $2,900 and comes with 20 shots in the mag and 80 in reserve. The M4A4 costs $3,100 and comes with 30 shots in the mag and 90 in reserve. This means you get an extra reload with the M4A1S, but you also get 20 extra bullets with the M4A4. On screen are the damage values for both weapons. Against unarmored enemies, the M4A1S can get a three shot kill to the chest and the stomach, while the M4A4 needs four shots to the chest and three to the stomach. In every other scenario, the M4A4 is gonna need one extra shot to kill than the M4A1S. Both M4s need two shots to the head to get a kill, and detaching the silencer from the M4A1S does not increase the damage. Both weapons have the same movement speed at 225 hammer units per second. They also have the same armor penetration, which is 70%, the same accuracy range at 28 meters, and the same shot reset set time and the shot reset time is actually really good meaning you could tap headshots from really far away we'll start to see some differences now with range as past 28 meters the m4a1s suffers from a range modifier of 0.94 compared to the m4a4 which has a range modifier of only 0.97 this means at long range the m4a4 can get a two shot kill by getting one headshot and one chest shot whereas the m4a1s will need an extra shot more often than not the m4a1s has the same fire rate as the ak and the aug at 600 rounds per minute while the m4a4 has a fire rate of 600 and 66 rounds per minute. This means even though you do less damage with the M4A4, you're dealing that damage much faster than the M4A1S. On screen are the recoil patterns for both weapons, and I also threw in the unsilenced M4A1S. Both weapons are accurate, but the M4A1S is going to be easier to control due to the slow fire rate and the overall better spray pattern. When you detach the silencer, it makes the recoil more like the M4A4. I wouldn't recommend ever taking off the suppressor, since you get worse recoil along with the lower magazine size and slower fire rate. You might as well be using the M4A4 at this point. The only reason you're allowed to take the suppressor off in the first place is because you're supposed to take it off when you don't want the barrel to expose your position when you're around a corner, but you won't ever need to do that. Okay, so overview. The M4A1S is the gun you want for flank and picking players off. The suppressor allows you to get a kill without the whole map knowing your exact location. There is also the added benefit of no traces when you shoot, so you can shoot through smokes without giving away your location as much as you would shooting the M4A4. And although the long range damage is not as good as the M4A4, I think the accuracy more than makes up for it, and I sometimes prefer to use the M4A1S for long range engagements. The M4A4 is more for the aggressive player or even if you find yourself having to reload a lot with the M4A1S. The slightly higher fire rate with the extra 10 shots make the M4A4 a perfect weapon for aggressive play and dealing with a rushing enemy team. And with its range modifier, it can two shot enemies with one shot to the head and one shot to the chest if you're able to control the recoil. I personally use both weapons in my loadout, reason being is that I find myself having to switch up my playstyle in some rounds and I think it's really beneficial to have that option. And no matter which M4 I have, I always swap it out for an AK. If you like the style of the video, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.